Hello everyone, Gareth the Master974 back again today doing another Valve Source Code tutorial video and today a suggestion has come through from Amir later, I hope I'm saying that right, who asks how to add the PBR shader into the Source Engine and this is actually something I wanted to do a while ago but just never managed to get it to work and I'll get to that later but um for PBR if you don't know what it is it's physically based rendering, I've got this uh Wolfram document here and it's quite extensive and quite mathematically involved but um, it covers a couple of the key things such as a diffuse and specular sort of map for a material and it goes into like proper hardcore mathematical stuff so if you're not ready for it then it's gonna you know mess with your mind like integrating over solid angle for example um, but there's another valve developer wiki page here that kind of goes into the basics of what goes into a physically based rendering material. I always thought it stood for photo based realism, it could also mean that I guess. But um, technically there's five channels, an albedo or a diffuse map, AO is ambient occlusion, displacement or height map, roughness and a normal map. So Typically in the source engine you only ever see the albedo or the diffuse and the normal map as stated up above um, But the PBR shader aims to add in ambient occlusion Roughness and metalness for metallic textures So it goes to say for any PBR texture it might pass through all five of the channels I would have just mentioned or maybe four of them so no metalness or it might not even have a roughness map for example, so it might only pass through a diffuse, normal and ambient occlusion map. So I just want to go over the basics first so you understand what you're dealing with. And this tutorial is just going to go over how to add it to your mod, a bare basic mod. I believe it works for both single player and multiplayer so let's just get right into it. So first and foremost you need to be able to compile shaders and compile your everything solution so I've already done a shader tutorial about how to do that so you can check that out to see how to do it and it kindly gives all of the files that we need so PBR DX9, VS30, PS30, VS20B, PS20B and common PS23X.H um, so I'm gonna just put that off to one side because I'm gonna need that for later and this is the actual GitHub link for the source shader now. Fixer 4, big ups and shout outs, um, has actually done this for Half-Life 2 multiplayer. So if I go into, you know, all this stuff here, we can actually go to, for example, materials, shader test, and we can see PBR is here. So I would recommend downloading this. You have to go to the main page over here and just go code, download, zip, and I've already done that. So that gives you the bare basic assets that you would need to test to make sure this works. So what I'm going to do is go over to my Windows Explorer over here and we're going to go to SRC and get out of here Discord. I'm so sorry to Torpid Tag whose message just came up but uh, anyway. I'm going to go to Material System and STD Shaders. Yep, I'm sorry for being an asshole and for not turning notifications off. But um, what I'm going to do as well is also go to the zip that I just said that you can download from GitHub. It contains everything you need. In this case, I'm going to have to go to MP, SRC, Material System, STD Shaders. And down a bit, we're going to see uh, PBR specific stuff. So it's basically everything that is here. There's um, one, two, three, four, five, six. And yet yeah, there's six over there as well, so just double check in. So just copy those and paste them over here. And then we want to load up STD Shaders DX930. And as it says over here, oh, sorry, I might as well just keep it in the bottom corner and zoom in maybe, but it says that um, there's no examples that use Shader Model 3.0, but you can add your own. And in this case, there's two that we need to add, which are PBR, so I might as well just type it in now, uh, vs30.fxc and ps30.fxc. Save that. 
and we're also going to load up DX920B and what we're going to do is just comment out all of these um, just bog standard included shader stuff we don't need to worry about that at all um, otherwise you'll just be compiling shaders that you don't need and here we need vs20b.fxc and ps20b.fxc and if you're hearing the typing that's me doing it in real time as well this is not a pre-recorded video it's actually like a real time thing so um hope you like the style i haven't done it in a while i thought for some of the stuff that i need to explain um i'm gonna have to do something about that so what we're gonna do is do a cd to change directory and paste in our link where we are so it's you know our mod src material system std shaders and then i have to type in z because that's the drive that we're at and um it loads up um into std shaders and we're gonna just do build hl2 shaders dot batch you don't see the end of it but um theoretically speaking because i've already done all the stuff that i need to do to get shaders to compile properly then i can just do this now and not have any issues so there's going to be a cut here and i'm going to come back when the shaders finish compiling keep a note of the time 2029 you'll see a time when it finishes so i'll see you shortly all right everyone go from the future just a quick little thing i didn't say this but if you want to you can just get away with just clicking on the links these individual files and downloading them individually so you don't have to download the entire project if you don't want to now the only reason why i suggested to download the entire project and you know download the zip is so you can gain access to all of the assets that are needed to test to make sure that the pbr shader works as intended so for example materials and models so in that case you can just get away with downloading the individual files but if you want to actually test to see if this image is what you'd get then you can download the zip so i just thought i'd uh, clarify that point okay everyone the shaders have finished compiling and as you can see it's only took about 15 minutes for me on my system now obviously dependent on your system it may take a shorter time or a longer time than this uh, but what you may have been able to tell from the number of combinations that end up getting compiled that it's not actually going to be a light mapped generic version of the shader so if i just close out of this uh, command prompt right here then let's actually investigate the game files to make sure it's actually been updated so we should be able to go shaders fxc and as you can see we've got our pbr you know files here the compiled shader and under bin we've got game shader dx9 that's the one that matters i think game shader dx6 is for the shader editor the source shader editor so i've got that on this uh, specific source 2013 single player you know distro i guess that i've modified specifically for purposes of this pbr shader so let's just open up um the everything solution next because we're actually going to need to add in files that are needed for the pbr stuff to work so let's just get over here um because i did build hl2 shaders i'm going to go into shaders hl2 and we're just going to have to make some additions now i don't think it really matters where the files go as long as they're in the shaders episodic or shaders hl2 solution or project or whatever then that's all that really matters so first off we need to go into the header files and simply put so we're just going to add some existing items and so we're going to go to where it says common and we've got common vertex lit generic dx9 which is there common light mapped generic fxc and common flashlight fxc add all those at least that's what the uh, valve developer wiki article says and i'll leave a link to that in the description so you can follow that and you know follow the instructions for yourself if you want to then under shader so uh, shader source excuse me and fxc add existing item and it's going to be the PBR FXC files. So that's going to be all of these. 
just to add those. And then outside of that, we can add the STD shaders to text files. I don't think we really need to do that. It's not really necessary to do, but we're gonna have to add in the uh, PS2 underscore three underscore X dot H. And then under the source files, we're going to add pbrdx9.cpp, which is just up here. And then with that, we're going to build the solution. And yeah, it's going to build all of the all of the solutions here. Some of which we don't really need to worry about or deal with. And is it going to be done quickly? I don't think it is. Maybe. We'll see. Um, but yeah, if there's a cut here, then I'll be back. Okay everyone, so I've just built the solution. It seems as if one failed, so I'm just going to rebuild the solution to see which one it was. It's one called QCIs, so that doesn't really matter. What does matter is that our shaders HL2 solution has compiled properly, and that means that our game shader DX9 file has been updated properly as well, so now the PBR stuff is in the game shader DX9 file, so that means that we can go into the testing side of things now. So I'm gonna load up the games um, solution, not the everything solution, because I've already you know, done what I need to do to make sure that this boots up as it's supposed to. So in theory, I should be able to load right into the game, the mod, and I should load into a map that Fixa4 has done which is a shader test to have a split between standard light map generic materials and materials that use the PBR shader. And yeah, I think because I've installed the uh, multiplayer, you know, Source SDK 2013 multiplayer, that um, they, they took a little while longer to get into the uh, mod here. But uh, hopefully everything's still working as it's supposed to. And oh, that looks really bad. You know what? Because I haven't actually done something really fucking simple. Uh, apologies, I'll be right back. Damn, what an epic fail. All right, take two, let's try this again. I didn't copy over the materials and models like an idiot. And there's the mandatory resolution change of my monitor. Okay, tell me, there we go, it's worked. Okay, so as you can see, we are in the game. And I've just left this at default settings, so hopefully it's not too bad. But I've already gone down the road of compiling the map and building cube maps, and you can see the reflection in the floor over here is for the light mapped generic shader, and over here it's for the PBR shader. Now, as I mentioned, I haven't established a way to get a light mapped generic version of the PBR shader to work. It is the unlit generic, so that is why it looks solid white as opposed to you know the other side over here that's not really the same and uh, I forgot to copy over another map but there's one called PBR water test and it's basically the same thing uh, except that it's these um, tiles and it would look solid white no matter where you look and that is because this is not a light mapped generic version of the shader but you can walk around and see how the materials look and how the tiles differ compared to the standard light map generic tiles so it leads me to one final thing and to some problems so let's just uh, go to that all right so last thing I'm gonna go over final thoughts time is that if we go under materials and say I don't know momentum and dev test we can see PBR over here, all of these materials, and if we load up, say, Concrete D, then we get this, which is not the material I wanted, I wanted the tile, that should be this one. So that's the tile we would have saw on the floor in, right? Now the way that the PBR shader works is that it takes the metalness, roughness, and ambient occlusion channels, bear in mind these are three distinct channels for PBR, and it condenses them down into one channel, which is this MRAO texture channel, which is an RGB channel, and you get metalness on the red. I'm being a dumbass, I'm sorry, I've just got stuff all over the place, but yeah. Uh, metalness is on the red, roughness is on the green, and ambient occlusion is on the blue. So if we look at this image right here, and then 
compare it, it's like metalness is on the red, so that's where the metal parts of the tiles are. Then roughness is on the green, so that's going to be all the gaps in between the tiles. And then ambient occlusion is all of the concrete on the tiles. So that's how you would go about incorporating textures into the, using the PBR shader. Um, you need to find a way to take your texture and add in red, blue or greenness to the image. Which obviously I don't know how to do. I couldn't tell you how to do it and there's no real guide by Fixer 4 on how to do it. And especially tailoring actual PBR materials to the PBR shader for source. So that's not something I can help you with. That's why I told you to download the assets to make sure it works because I can't tell you how to make the assets. But um, if you can make assets and you can figure out based off of what I've said how to make these kind of materials, then you just have to do a dollar sign MRAO texture and then that file here. And so this leads into the problem that I would have mentioned earlier that when I did this before, prior to the suggestion from the user I would have mentioned at the start is that I would have used actual PBR materials and not this red, green, blue format for the texture. So I probably got issues on that front. But something else I wanted to cover as well is that if I actually delve into uh, the source file that um, Fexa 4 provided, they actually do have a light mapped version of the shader that you can end up using. Now the thing is the files for these I couldn't find. So this is something that Fixer 4 must have done but hasn't provided, which is supposed to give some form of a light mapped generic version of the shader. So I can just, you know, copy and paste these into here. But if you're going to go down the route of copying and pasting assets, you may as well just go ahead and copy and paste the actual game shader DX9 file. You know, but the whole idea is that you can do this for yourself and make your own DX9, you know, game shader DX9 file. And in theory, what that should mean is that the file, this, you know, textures now are actual light mapped generic textures. So to prove this, this is the PBR water test map that I mentioned earlier. I'm going to copy and paste that into here and we're going to boot into the game one more time. Well, at first glance, it doesn't seem to have worked because as you can tell, it still looks full white light on the surfaces. And I know I can't talk at times, I'm sorry, but let's just try that PBR water test and see if uh, I'm right in that. Even copying over the source files, it just... Oh wait, no, don't say it has an assertion error, come on. Ah, fuck's sake, it's, it's an assertion error. Yeah, this can happen as well. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is another one of the issues I've had trying to get this to work. Is um, you get either engine.dll errors or game interface.cpp errors. And yeah, I don't really know what to do about this. But it's probably because it's a multiplayer map that I'm playing in single player and it just doesn't like that whatsoever, so... Uh, so I might, I might as well just end the video off then. Well everyone, that's my video on how to add the PBR shader into the Source Engine. Uh, unfortunately it's only the unlit generic version, at least for now, because the raw files needed to compile the light maps shaders that you're seeing here are not provided. And I also can't go over how to make materials that use the PBR shader because I just have no idea what I'm doing in that regard. Um, you need to be able to do stuff like this or this. Um, so I would have just covered this earlier, but I can't tell you how to do that because I'm no material expert. And as I mentioned, you can have problems with the game crashing, specifically when trying to play multiplayer compiled maps using the single player engine, because that's the issue I've just had a moment ago. And hopefully you would have saw it. But that's how you can compile the PBR shader and begin to use it in the Source Engine. Apologies for the many fuck-ups that I would have had throughout the video. And hopefully you learned something, hopefully that you like this sort of lifestyle. And um, let me know what you think. And if you have any suggestions or comments, please let me know down below. Uh, big ups and shout out to Fexa4 for making the shader in the first place. And to Amir later for the suggestion. And all I have to say is take care out there, peace out, and see you next time.